I'm going to turn this volume down here. It's the beginning of September in 2008. I've received some requests for some additional videos explaining digit of selective calling or HFDSC. I've gone through how to make uh, and receive DSC calls to a coast station, to the US Coast Guard, how to do automated test calls. I haven't shown you how to send an HFDSC call to another vessel. That's what I'm going to do here today. It's pretty straightforward and pretty simple for just about anybody that has an M802 wants to call another vessel on the DSC frequencies. Just, just going to use an example of say I'm here in Florida and maybe I've got a buddy of mine in uh, the Bahamas or down in the uh, Dominican Republic or something and I want to get a hold of him. I know all M802s have a built-in DSC monitoring receiver that monitors the six GM DSS frequencies in the background all the time. They only monitor those six frequencies for safety, urgency, or distress messages. If you wish to send a routine message through DSC, the radios are not designed to receive routine messages unless they are in the DSC watch mode, scanning one of the alternative DSC frequencies. I'm not going to get into all the details of that just right now. I'm just going to show you the basic outline of how this all works, and then we'll get into the details. First thing you need to remember is sending a DSC message is your MMSI number of the vessel you want to send it to. That's just like having somebody's cell phone number. So you just need to know that number. And you kind of need to know approximately what region of the world they're in so you can determine what frequency you want to send the message on. So here I am in Florida. Let's see, I had just uh, looked at a, a weather fax and a buddy of mine was uh, going to be heading off on a passage and I want to say, hey, you're going to have great weather, go ahead, or no. So I'm going to send him a message and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. First off, I want to show you a little bit of a problem here on my nav station. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. In, in order to uh, show you, I have a second M802 right here along with the first one right here. So I'm going to be sending a message from this unit here over to this unit here. And then I'm going to reply or acknowledge from this unit back to that one again. I understand this is going to look a little strange, but let's just pretend that these two radios are on uh, two different boats about uh, 300, 500 miles away from each other. It would be the exact same thing. Okay, here we go. First thing I'm going to do is no matter what frequency or channel I'm on. I could be getting the weather facts. I could be listening to the uh, Maritime Mobile Service Net. doesn't matter. Anyway, whatever channel I'm on, I'm just going to hit my DSC button here. I'm going to hit Menu, and I, yes, I'm going to select Individual Call. If I wanted to call a group of vessels or something else, I could, but I'm going to select Individual Call. And then I'm going to hit my Enter button here. Let me just zoom out just a skosh. You can see I'm hitting Enter. I'm going to zoom back in so you can see the display better. Okay, now I'm going to, again, I'm going to assume that my buddy is not in the DSC watch mode, so his radio is just monitoring for safety, urgency, or distress messages. Even though this technically might not be a safety message to uh, uh, warn him about weather, personally I think it is, depends on your position here. So I'm just going to send him a safety message, I'm going to hit enter, and I'll, uh, I have my own vessel other MMSI number, my MMS do it like it was manually set. So I'll just hit enter and then that's the MMSI number I'm going to send it to. It's 36693310. And then I hit enter. The traffic frequency, this is the frequency that I want to speak to the vessel on. I'm going to pick 8294. Right there. That's 8A. I'm going to hit enter. And the frequency I'm going to send this on, the call frequency, I'm going to use the uh, 8414.5. And I'm just going to hit enter there. You can see the display screen is set and ready for me. I'm going to zoom in. You can see this a little better. It's set and ready for me to send a message. So I'm going to send this DSC message to another radio on one of the six uh, GM DSS DSC calling frequencies. That's 8414.5 kilohertz. I'm going to request that the other person at the other end on the other radio meet me on uh, 8294.0 upper sideband. And if you look what's going to happen when I send this message, I'm going to hit the call send button. That's this one button right here. 
Okay, I've hit the call send button right here, or excuse me, call button right here. And now it's placing a call to my other radio. And I'm going to zoom out and look at the other radio. And now you notice the other radio display changed, and it shows me that I have an individual call. Now it's going to say to acknowledge I should hit the enter button, which is what I'm going to do here. Forgive me for having to hold on to this here. Hitting the enter button, and then it's going to say to acknowledge, hit enter again, and yes, I'm able to comply. It's asking me, the radio is asking me, am I able to comply to meet them on that channel, and I'm saying yes. And now I'm going to hit my call button. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see this, my thumb over here. I'm going to hit my call button, and it's going to send my acknowledgement that I'm able to comply and meet them on this frequency, and it's going to send it from this radio here over to the other radio. So, and I do have a dummy load hooked up here, so here we go. Now it's calling, as you can see, and now I'm going to look at the other radio. And you can see it's receiving something. And it just received. Sorry, I'm going to turn the volume down. And it's received my reply, and it says, Individual Knowledge, Annie Laurie, able to comply. So I'm going to hit my uh, uh, frequency button. And you notice now my traffic frequency is 8294. And you'll notice that the other radio, after it sent its message, it also went to 8294. I didn't change that frequency. I didn't make any adjustments. The radios did them all by themselves. Now when I transmit in voice from one radio to the other, you're going to get a lot of feedback and a lot of noise. But just to show you, I pick up the microphone here for this radio here. I can say... Anyway, I can pick up the microphones to each radio and talk to each other. Test one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Test one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. This is uh, Sandy Vessel Lady Lori Whiskey Delta Bravo six nine two seven testing. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You've sent. That's pretty much all there is to it. You've sent a DSC message from this radio to this radio saying I need to speak to you on a specific frequency. This radio then replied, or I should say acknowledged, ACK acknowledged, yes, I will meet you on that frequency. Both radios automatically switch to that frequency and you're able to communicate with each other. And that's how ship-to-ship -ship DSC communications works on HF frequencies. Again, that's using one of the six uh, GM DSS uh, uh, DSC frequencies used for safety, urgency, or distress calling. If this was a routine message, it should be handled on one of the other uh, DSC frequencies. Unfortunately, most owners of most radios do not have the other DSC frequencies programmed in properly in their radios, and even if they did, most are not in the DSC watch mode, which is what would be used to, to scan those frequencies. At the risk of repetition, at the risk of confusing everyone, I want to make this clear that the ICOM M802 and all other HF DSC radio telephones have built into them a six-channel DSC scanning receiver that is always in operation in the background no matter what channel or frequency your radio is tuned to. However, they also have, the M802 also has a second DSC decoder built into it that you can use and scan six other DSC frequencies.